Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Matala. And season two of King of the Palace is underway. Last week, Jimmy Nestor lost to Anthony Karen. Now, Anthony Karen faces the number three seed, Dennis Nuzzo. This is going to be a spectacular match. Up first, Dennis Nuzzo. Dennis bowls out of Lucky Strike Lanes in Lynn, Massachusetts. His qualifying score was a 4-14. He bowls on the Pro League on Friday night, 114 average. Dennis Nuzzo to lead it off. Game number one. Alley number three. Getting ready for familiar, always wet the hands, get the grip, check the slide, and here we go. First ball delivery. <laughs> Head it, he found it! Dropped oh, a hammer! Found it on the Welcome first Welcome to the king of the palace, Dennis Nuzzo. Do you think he wanted that strike to open up this match and get the butterflies out? I think he did. Well, there's nothing better than stepping up to the plate for the first time on King of the Palace and dropping a hammer. Putting the pressure on Anthony. Right and right he right drops a is. double! He this dude is mean in business today! Dennis Nuzzo's opponent. Anthony Karen, who last week defeated season one champion Jimmy Nestor. This will be Anthony Karen's third appearance on King of the Palace. His qualifying score was a 401, and his average is a 102, bowling out of Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. And now let's see if Anthony Karen oh. can answer. How great a start is that? Now Anthony's got to try to get something. And he found the head pin. Once again, two different throwing styles. <laughs> Anthony throws the ball a little slower. And as you just saw, Dennis fire that ball down there oh. and just explosion after explosion. Oh. Now, nope. Anthony yeah. picking up the spare. That just didn't have enough steam to get over there. Yes, we notice here in this uh, the second game, Here's your second string. Anthony uh, using two balls, the blue ball and the uh, green ball. It looks to me like the green ball drifts a little more on him. He'll find the correction on that, obviously. Oh. Well, I think, I think um, you know, for Anthony, I think one set of his balls is a little heavier than the other, and he may use them for a certain, you know, advantages. Well, oh, he's got a little late right. action. Left the one five with some wood. Oh, looks to me like he just got to plow into that head pin. Any part of the head pin should take out the five with the dead wood behind him. Well, we'll see what happens. Like I said, that wood could actually hurt you. Picks it up. Nice. Actually, he played the dead wood. Yep, he played the dead wood. Absolutely Squeezed the correct. two. Absolutely correct. No. Oh. Dennis Nuzzo working on a double strike. Looking for that elusive triple. Let's see what he can do. A blistering, blistering double to open up the match. Looking for three in a row. Come on! Oh, that wood oh. came around and blocked it. He almost had the triple. Oh my goodness, though, did he want that triple. But now he's got to concentrate. He's got to get this spare. Yep, left the eight pin. He's got to get push the all that wood around down there. Picks yeah, it up, no beautiful. Four times in a row, Dennis Nuzzle has nailed the head pin. Now he's left the three pins on the right, the two, the six, and the ten. The three, the six, and the ten. Excuse me, the three, six, and I know you're and excited. I, you know, oh, I, I am excited. I, mean, I am, oh, kid. mistake number one. That's fine. I am, I, he, oh, I wanted four in a row so bad for him. Yeah, he wanted it too. He knew it, but it's I all right. You know. I don't think on the show yet, David, we've had four in a row. Four marks, any combination, and came up in bowling. It's called an eagle. Billy Palumbo pulled that feet off the very first King of the Palace. He's, oh, I stand corrected. That's correction number two, David. Yep. yep. 
You know, Billy Palumbo threw a 180. That's, did he get four that game? I can't. I know he got a triple, but yeah. I can't remember if he matched it either end with spare. All right, well, Anthony's got his work cut off for him. No doubt about it. He's yeah. got to find this head pin. He just, he's running into a buzzsaw. That means business. Oh, well, he got a break. He's got a spare leave. Yeah. They fell. He wide left him. He's left the 1-3 with favorable wood. Yeah, he, eight, eight pin on his... He'd pin drop on his fill. Pin, he needs the spare to keep it going. He's up against a double strike spare. Ten box. Oh, does he want this? Oh, oh pushed it. He pushed it wide. Yeah. Sometimes the easiest looking spares become roadblocks. Yes, absolutely that right. I've done it. Everybody else has done it. It's frustrating. And, and he picks up you know, the he's ten. Smiling. Not he the way he the wanted to hit it, but that would came missed back and Missed it again, but it came bit. back, and he would have liked to have it as the spear. Love Anthony's T-shirt. <laughs> I am one of those people that love candle pin bowling. Yep. It's the only spear. Wide left, dropped it. Yeah, people it can take. Point. You know, people have their that. You know, ten pin bowling and this and that. This, this is actually real bowling. It's a lot harder, and you know. We've always challenged somebody who throws 10 pin, you know, who's never thrown a candle pin ball, come down and try it. The accuracy in candle pin ball and faster passes that are obviously of the 10 pin ball and 10 pin. You know, everybody says, oh, it's a small little ball and you know, anything can happen and they can throw that ball 100 miles an hour and plow over the pins. They find, they find out that it's not that easy. All I can say to anybody, come down and try it. Yeah. Try it. Down here at the King of the Pals, Daniel Street in Fitchburg. <laughs> What a roadblock that turned out to be. Very disappointing seven. Unfortunately, he's down 22 after four against the big double strike opening. Very, very difficult to come back against. Yeah, Dennis Nuzzle, he means business. Oh, is he look ready? He's found the confidence, he's got the confidence. David, it's all about confidence. Yeah, he's, yeah. Um, you know, Dennis has told me that he's been on TV before, a yeah. long, long time ago. There it is, there's the dreaded spread eagle. Throw the ball, hit your object, and get pen literally get penalized for it. Um, I have no explanation. Well, the only thing you can do now is get a ten out of it, and he took the two out on the run. Pick up the th pick up the two four seven, and you know, has to be the most the frustrating one. thing in bowling. And Ooh, there we go. Now he nails out. the he nails the two pin. He gets it, and he gets one out of three. A oh, little full on it. Now he's thrown it wide left, but he's left a tough spin. One, three, six, and eight. Yeah, I would probably hit, go after the, the the one pin on the right hand side and try to push everything down and back and around. And, you know, he knew it. Yeah, he missed it. He missed it. All right, pick up the three for the ten. Now we'll notice here in the shot that he's got a piece of dead wood in the in the alley gutter. The gutters are uh, four and a half inches deep, five inches wide. And any contact of the ball with a piece of dead wood in the gut and the gates of pin is falling down. Okay, here is the Anthony. He's going to try to find it. Check the slide like all good bowlers do. You don't want it stick. Yeah, it coast. looks like he throws his uh, blue and white striped balls the first time out. Maybe that's the ones that curve the best for him. He just missed it. He's left the four horsemen on the right with the seven on the left. Yeah, exactly. He throws the, the blue and white stripe in the beginning, and then he picks up the other ball and yeah. must be a little heavier and gives him a little bit more of a punch. Could be, David. Everyone's different. You know, but maybe, you know, I might have given away one of his secrets. Yes, that, that could be. Yes, yes. Nice he, ball, Anthony. Oh, he nailed it. The head pin went into the left side curtain. Once again, an excellent, excellent replay shot by our outstanding producer director, Travis Fox, showing that made spare. Now he's up on three. He's got the momentum. He wants an eight, nine, or a ten. He needed that confidence builder. Is it there? Is it there? Oh. oh, it just didn't curve the way he wanted it to. Drifted it off to the left again. A very a disappointing four. But he's got a... Got the head pin here for any possible spare shot. Very disappointing. Oh, yeah, he picked yes, up the spare. Yes, he came back. He nailed it. Back-to-back nice -back spares. It, the comeback is coming. 
After, after six, Dennis Nuzzo, 91. Anthony Karen, 77, and a ball. Dennis has got to get back on in here. Anthony's finding it. How can you hit the one in the three pocket and only take out four pins out of that lot? Who knows how it happens, but Look I'm going to tell you what. miserable, uh, ugly that's lead. Ugly the is right. He almost nailed it. Okay, he's left with the... Uh, that's about as ugly as, you know... The spread eagle. No, nothing could be as ugly as that. Okay, he's nailed it for the ten. <laughs> you knew I was going to get it in. Okay, he's nailed it for the ten pin. Yeah, he's shaking his head. What am I going to do? It's the same ball I threw for a double strike. I've seen a lot of ugly things in my life, and that just happened to be one of them. What a disappointing shot to be faced with after delivering your first key ball. All right, here he goes. He, cra he found it in the area. There's the hammer. There he is. He comes back with a hammer. It looked to me like it was no different than the ball he just dropped four on. Yeah. But, of course, it's on a different alley. And Got it. He found the head to the little Heading quarter weak. shot. He wants that to fall, but he's left the uh, three, seven, nine. He's got favorable wood. This could be a makeable spare. The pins appear to be spotted exactly where they're supposed to be, so the wood should. <laughs> yes! They despair. He wanted that. Now he's got it. The concentration's there. Oh, let's see if he can't do oh, something. Oh, he's zeroed spare. in on that head pin. Yep, working on his spare, Phil. Here's the familiar crouch. There it is. There's the delay. Oh. oh, I stand corrected because now he threw right, a totally different, different ball. ball. Yeah. yeah. Well, no see, rhyme or reason. Everyone's different. There goes the, there goes it's the can theory. Up you know, That's all I can tell you. Maybe he heard us. Talking you know. about who knows? Yeah, who knows? ESP? He's, he's got a five pin spare here. Very five difficult. Pin. Difficult shot. Difficult. Okay, he yeah, got four leaves the head pin and going after that for the. Well, he wants to get the head pin to get the 10 box, and it gets him a plus five uh, on the spill. Yeah. On the fill screen. Excuse me. All right. Nice smooth delivery. And yes. he picks it up. All over it. All over it. All right now, wow. Dennis Nuzzle has a two pin lead over Anthony Karen. Anthony's actually battled back into this match. But Dennis Nuzzle working on a strike, so we'll see what happens. Very, very important last two Let's boxes. see if he can't put another ball down the pocket. Oh, and he'd love to explode these out of here. He's smiling. He found it. Here it is. Another double it is. Another double. Two doubles in one game. Beautiful. Not the explosion of the other two we saw, but it's still a strike. Doesn't matter. It's, it's down on the score sheet as a strike. Doesn't matter if it's a back the door strike, the replay showed it. A little delayed, or, but it went down. Yep. And for the triple. A, leaves the five in the ten with some wood. Wood. He may play the wood now. Can a pin bowling the five ten for a spare shot left alone? Those two pins is called the Woolworth split. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to play the wood. Again, yes, he did. Nice yes, pick he up. Did. He knew it. He oh, punched yes. that. Oh, yes. Only way you cap. He capped both pieces. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Now Deserve working it. on his fill. Oh, putting the pressure on Anthony on these last two balls. Yep. Nothing like a strike spare. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if he can't touch them all. Open up with a double and finish with this. And, and a and 10. There it is. Oh, a hammer. double spare with a fill of a 10. Ten. Oh, my goodness. Anthony looked at him, and he's like, are you serious? 50 pins in the last two boxes. Unbelievable. And it curves in. Oh. Uh, just missed a little wide to the left. One, three, six. 10 and the 8 left with no wood on the deck. Now, well, all these good. He has to attack the head pin. Uh, wide left. Punched it out. Wide left. Well, I think Anthony's probably going to be uh, saving a little bit of stuff for the second game here. Yeah, he's going to have to. 
zero in on that. Dennis has this game well in hand. David, do you think that uh, red piece of tape around the pins halfway up sort of like a target for the people in bowling? I have no idea. I've seen red, I've seen green, I've seen blue. I've yeah. never seen pins without the tape. No, you? I yeah. well, unless people Maybe don't our outstanding the tape producer, on director pin. Travis Flock, will zero in and let us know if he's seen anything. Different. Oh, wide right. Little English here. Oh, he wanted it, but he's left the uh, two and the eight for a ten box. Let's see if he can't pick this up Boy, for the did ten. He, did he run into a buzzsaw. Oh my goodness! Opening up with a double and finishing with a double and spare. Oh. You know, Steve, I'm kind of impressed because it, you know we're into our second week, going into our fourth match, and you haven't once mentioned anything about some kind of rocket scientist philosopher coming down and telling you how something happens. Did you go to therapy over the summer? I just have to ask. I've asked two or three people. They will be getting back to me. Our outstanding producer, director, Travis Falk, instructed me that it was okay that I could call a doctor of physics or somebody to explain to me how these things happen, and I have put the feelers out there. Oh, nice. You know, and some people called me and said that you belong in a rubber room. Well, well, well who knows? You know, I mean, I don't know. Hey. Then, we just own. I just want to know how it happens. Yeah, I think we all do. Yeah, yeah. What better person to tell us than a, uh, for I'm a professor of physics or something? I, the pins are 12 inches apart when they're up. They're, they're uh, excuse me, nine inches apart when they're up. 12 inches when they're down. I have no idea how it happens. Nine inches up, 12 inches down. That sounds like a disappointing evening. All right. Anthony Cameron on Alley 4. All right, here we go. Zero and in. Oh, oh I pushed it way to the right. Yeah, dropped out. Man. He's disappointed. Disappointing on that. He's got to get the head pin in. Got to throw I might actually get bleeped. <laughs> yeah. Got to throw a strike yeah, ball. You know, everybody wanted a little bit more. Oh, he did. He nice did come back. Up. He came back with the strike ball to get the spare. Excellent, is, excellent you know? shot. Oh boy, Dennis getting ready here. He can Let's see it. if he can't start the oh, way he started the last time. He can feel it, the familiar blue ball into his hand. The three finger grip and the whip. Oh, oh no, wow. no. He's looking up in the sky. Pit the He's one, shaking his head. Eight. Are you? Oh, here comes the philosopher of physicist. Bring it down scientist. here. I welcome the challenge of anybody to come down here and explain oh. it. Now he chops off the half. What's the right? Well, well, answer this one question. How come there's no Deadwood down there either? Right. I don't know. A nice, nice pickup for the nine. Nice. He took the, the one eight out. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Steve. He looked up in the sky. He's probably saying to himself, why did I get punished? Well, I can think of uh, oh, two more Oh, I know that, 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 that could be. You know. All right, he's got to recover here. He's got to forget about it. Well, now but, he throws wide right, but he's left the four horsemen. You know, somebody once told me a long time ago that, you know, it's Caleb Pin Bowling. Well, <laughs> all right, here he is. Going to shoot the four horsemen. Try to split the one and the two. He and nice, nice pickup. You know, Ran nice the ladder. Shot. Nice rotation on the ball. Nice ball. Nice ball. Found it there. Well, right now, Anthony, Karen, both, you know, open up a nine box. Second box was a spare. You know, right now, it's um, anybody's game, and Anthony's working on his spare, Phil. Uh, he wants to follow up with a good fill here. He needs it. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh he knew that. That's uh, a little bit disappointing. Disappointing three, Phil. It is so disappointing. You make a nice spare, you want to fill in with a good fill. And unfortunately, you drop it. He goes wide left. You get a disappointing three. Yeah, it the happens. The only thing you can do is try to come back and get a spare. You know, no, no rhyme or reason why all of a sudden you just punch out those one couple of pins and that's it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Well, let's see if he can't pick up the one four seven. Not picks up the seven. He knew it. Yeah. It's, 
A little bit disappointing there he dropped it, he knows it. Well, uh, trying to gather his thoughts and getting ready to rock and roll back on Alley 4. Here he goes, zeroing in. Right, foul nice. Dave. Come on, Oh, foul down, I thought five that pin. five pin was going oh. down. I think you actually saw daylight underneath that. Look at that. Look at it is it rocking. It is, it's rocking. But it did not fall. Now he should probably go right at the pin. I wouldn't trust well down. Uh, I'd go get, right at the pin. If you yeah. can see it, go at it. Oh, well, he played he the played wood. Played the wood. Okay. It's all right. Hey, if you're gonna miss it, miss it with as a piece of wood, and hopefully you get a break. Well, he wanted the spare. It didn't matter how we got it. He got it to oh. conference Silva. No, that is not so. You know, on alley three, working on a spare. Hopefully, he can uh, come back from that one eight disaster. Oh, First God. ball. He doesn't want to see that again. That's for sure. Oh, that's the injustices of candlepin bowling. That is at its height. That's ugly. There's nothing uglier than that. Oh, oh man. The, just as I'm speaking about ugliness. The two eight half Worcester. Better known as the half Worcester. Oh, Very unbelievable. unbelievable. Punched the two into the eight. And now to the. Oh, oh now he takes out the one five nine. He's left five pins up. Yeah, he's doing the Paul Bunyan right now. He's just chopping stuff away. Dropping the wood in half. Oh my goodness. Pins are going Now uh, he's left a six. Yeah. Left with a six box. Yep. Very, very disappointed. Well, opens the door for Anthony. Yeah. That's it. Disappointing box. You fill it with a spare or a strike and another one. You're back in it. Yeah, but, you know, he's working on Alley 4 now. And, you know, whatever he just did, you forget about. Forget and you about. concentrate alley on what you're doing now. Alley 4 seems to be the friendly of Alley to him. Ooh. And, come on. Wow. Fall. Fall. Come fall. on. Fall. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, all right. Well, that's one much better. Seven. A lot better than the one seven ten that he had with the six. So yeah. Well, you know what? This is um makeable. A, yeah, it's it good. is. Maybe a twenty percent shot at making it. Up and around. Yep. You just got to make contact with the head pin. Throw it. Now he's got that right. block in front of the the yeah. seven, and you know he's got that one piece of wood in the channel. This might be kind of hard to pick up. Oh, Ooh, drove, drove right bow. Yeah, drove right into it. Right now, Dennis Nuzzle has a 31-pin lead over Anthony Karen. Well, we've got six boxes left. Yeah, Anthony working on a mark. He's, he knows what he needs to do. He needs to fill this big time. He needs yep. a big fill. A yep. little bit of extra time there for concentration. Into the crouch. Delivery. Nice curve inside. Oh. He's a thought for a minute there that Deadwood is going to take a couple more pins off for him. Leaves the three, six, ten, and the five. Difficult, difficult spare. Most of the time, the ten will stay up. Left side of the three, try to run the ladder on the three and to push the three into the five, and he just takes the five. Yeah, he knew it. He knew he, he knew he missed it on the on the left side. Unfortunate. He wants the ten. Oh, okay. drifted right. Now, David, a lot of people probably noticed we have nine pins up with a red stripe, one pin that has a green stripe. The reason for that is that you develop in your league bowling a little bit of a challenge for the bowlers. Yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of an incentive. It gives them something to shoot for, you know. A lot of the leagues are fun and competitive and, when the, you hit, know. When the green pin comes up with a stripe. There's the a hammer. There's a hammer. There it is. He needed it. It came back. Off the sidewall, and he got the strike. He wanted that hammer, and he got it. Yeah, that was a nice ball for Anthony. He needed that one. No, when the green pin shows up at the green, the pin shows up at the green strike, and you're in a pool for dollar or whatever. Yeah, that that little you know, incentive for the ball. Yeah, Great idea. You know. Great idea. Okay, here comes Dennis, trying to match. Well, not the always easy. as easy to hit it though, because people get so jazzed up oh, to go the, after it, and the candle pin ball becomes a golf ball. Man, it, it, it's psychological. Yeah. It happens. Maybe I ought to get a psychiatrist. Okay, there we go. I think goes. I want to need a psychiatrist. I think I think it should be like um, if there's anybody that's by the name of Jim Bean or you know, Mr. McDaniel's or Mr. Daniels or something. You know, Dr. McGillicuddy. Cuddy, Cuddy. I, he makes house calls. Right. Okay. Here we go for two pence. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Difficult spear. Difficult spear. Just missed it. Left. All right. He's gonna nail this two pin for the ten yard. And 10 bucks. And all Takes up the 10. No, Dennis is just kind of like in cruise mode. Yeah, he you know, he's looking, he, oh, he's trying to do what he can to stay ahead and, you know, and hopefully Anthony doesn't try to match. Dennis is just all about hitting right now. If you can't get the spare or a strike, get the 10. Oh, found the head pin. Oh. oh. Leaves the five and the seven. 
Boy, I thought that was and a, a little more big than that. roadblock right in the front. I don't know. Maybe he'll slam it. Oh. Slam the cap. See what happens. Get it spinning, right? Hey. See what happens. He did it. Oh. A little too full. I probably would have gone to the right hand yeah, side they, of it they a had little to get bit some... and hit that other ch piece of wood that's still up there and try to move some stuff around. You had to get some more. Nice yep. ten box. Nice He's 10 box. pinning. That's all about. It's Caleb Pin Bowling. It's pinning. Right now it's. Dennis Nuzzo, 57, Anthony Karen with a 74 working on a strike. And up on alley three, trying to fill that strike with his two best first balls he can throw. Well, he's looking, looking for to, a double. Looking for a double. Don't forget on the strike, the fill ball is, you count two balls to make the strike fill. First ball, what's that? Oh, Ooh. once again, Anthony off to the left, punches out. One, two, three. Eight. Oh, very, just, that's the second time he's left the same. The and the five pins missing on and, that. Oh, pack. yes, it is. Yes, Look the five at pin. that. Oh, is that ugly? Well, it's going to get the head pin. Oh. Uh, he this, pushed it. This ball made me get a seven fill. No. Six fill on the strike. Well, he's going to get 10 out of this. Hopefully, get a 10 box. That's kind of a crazy leave. Yeah, it's very unusual. Oh, oh pushed it. Do you know in candle pin bowling, there is 1,022 possibilities of spare shots? In can up in bowling, 90% of them are rare. Hey, Alex Trebek, you should have formed that into a question. Well, maybe someday I will. Oh. Okay, here comes Anthony. He's nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. He's left the four pin with some wood. He's got a shot at a nice spare here. He's going to directly go after the pin. Yeah, I would. I if you're going to miss him. it, you want to try to kiss that pin, that piece of dead wood on the right hand side. Ooh, oh, he capped it. He capped it. Little full. Oh, he drove it he straight knew it. back into the pin. He knew it. Pit. That's accuracy, though. When you can hit a cap of a pin, pin and drive, they straight that's back. That's accurate. Now he nails it for the 10 box. Always easiest on the third shot. Always, Always is. Most of the easiest shot is your third shot. All right. He really wanted that spare, but unfortunately, it drifted right, didn't make the contact with the wood prop, it didn't take down the floor. All right, here's Dennis. Oh, that there is, is a there hammer. It is. Complete rotation. Look at that shot by Travis, our producer director, showing the strike fill. He's happy, he's found it. That seven pin was the last right. one to go. And, he know. knew it, he knew it. Yeah, he's smiling, he knew the ball was there. Oh, he's working on the strike. Here he goes. Boy, he does put that ball into motion, though. Yeah, right? he does. He's got a pretty good cannon. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he he pushed it to the right. It. He dropped it wide right. He's, still... oh, he's got another, another oh, ball. Yeah, that's right. Throw the you strike know? ball to get the spare shot. Yeah. That's why I've always said it. You you know? Know? He's got that piece of dead wood down there, so now I would probably aim a little bit more to the left of that head Spin pin. that dead wood around. Oh, he's asking oh, for it to hit. Oh, he wants. Oh, oh he's the oh, dead side. See that? He's Are appealing you to the me? crowd. He's appealing to the gods. Why did that pin stay up, not fall forward so he got the spare? I agree with him 100%. Hey, I agree too. Appealing to the crowd, appealing to the gods, appealing to the palace lanes, and now he's still looking at it. And you know what they all said? No. No. You saw it rock, David. Travis saw it rock. I saw it rock. Why did it stay up? Uh, I guess there's nothing worse than like in golf when you hit a beautiful shot. And you look you like it's a hole in one and you hit the pin. Ain't that a pin in the butt? Oh, oh no, there it is. Here it is, the spread eagle. Alex, the dreaded, I'll take. The dreaded spread eagle. He's smiling, he's picked the ball up. Now he's been disappointed. The injustice, of, we just saw a pin not fall down for a spare. Now he punches out the spread eagle. Alex Trebek, I'll take what drives Steve Bruncher crazy in bowling. What uh, is the spread eagle? eagle? No, no, what is it? How does it happen? Oh, okay, okay, if you want to paraphrase it that way. I'll never understand it. I'll never understand it. Uh, I, it just, I'm not talking about it no more. So tell me. Okay. He's going up to Alley Field. Yo, He's yo, done it twice. He, yo, he promised me, people, that he was going to go to therapy over this dread spread eagle thing. And apparently, it's not working. So I apologize to all of you in the audience. There he goes. Therapy just wasn't enough.
Then bowling, uh, we got these four pins up. There's Studemeyer, Crowley, Layden, and Miller, ring a bell to you. Those are the four husbands of Notre Dame football. That's where the four husbands come Why don't you just call them Mo, Larry, Curly, and Shemp? No, no, the four husbands. Four husbands of Notre Dame. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Now, now, they hit, now, now that 10 pin stands up. Anthony's getting the same reaction that. Well, they were probably. Look at this. They were the probably, thing is wiggling, yeah, it's they, moving. Why doesn't it fall down? Because you didn't have the luck of the Irish with them, my friend. <laughs> You call He's them, got you know, I mean, either. seriously now. Oh, my Looks like Shemp was the last one to stand. <laughs> you sure it wasn't Mo? No, Mo was the first one. Shemp Mo. was the last one. Uh, now we're getting into the Three Stooges. And how do we work the Three Stooges in the camp? Scandal bowling. bowling. Anything right. can happen. <laughs> Anything can happen. Absolutely All correct. right. You worked Notre Dame football into that. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you came up with that idea, but hey. Well, it's the Four Horsemen, yeah. October 1926. Okay, there he goes. Dennis threw a ball wide left. He's left. I think you're really showing your age at 1926. Well, no, I read it in the book. Okay, here he goes. Picks it up. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, he deserved it. He hit his object. Watch that oh, pin come off the side shot, curtain. Oh, excellent shot, Travis. They picked up the wood coming off the side curtain and taking no. out the nine. You want. Okay, here he goes. He got oh, it is. fills there the it is. spare with a oh, hammer. No better fill than a hammer. Oh, what a shot. Looks one, like that one had the acne plunger right underneath that plate. One two pocket hit. The plins obliterate. All went into the pin deck. Excuse me, pin pit. Nothing but the a, nothing pit. but the deck, baby. Oh, Those are the man. best kind of strikes there are. Oh, he's cranking it up. Oh my oh. right. right. Yo, right. he's got one more ball. Yeah, gotta get the head pin to get the fills. Okay. He's left the four horsemen left with the nine pin. Try to play to get four out of this for your count on the sprite. And oh, oh, he, oh, he, oh, he got four out of five, but he left, left the head, head pin. pin. How often does that happen? Yeah. Very, very rare. After match number two, Dennis Nuzzo defeats Anthony Karen. Dennis with a 49 pin lead over Anthony Karen. Dennis has got to be jazzed. I mean, this is his first appearance on King of the Palace. He comes in here and he makes a statement. Double strike to open up. Dennis Nuzzle came out of the box uh, a little weak. Yep, Dennis Nuzzle came out strong in the very first, and then all of a sudden, you know, slowed down a little bit in the second, and then picked right back where he left off. Recapping our two games, six strikes, four spares. The Anthony's only one strike, but six spares. Dennis Nuzzle really showed us something today. Nice speed ball, great accuracy, but I'm still thinking about what he's probably thinking. How did he take the one eight out? <laughs> <laughs> well, next week, Dennis Nuzzo is going to face the number two seed, Steve Reno Jr. Looking forward to, for a spectacular match. 